Good morning guys, hope you're all well. I just wanted to do a very quick video for you all about being the inner doorkeeper this morning because over the last couple of weeks and especially this weekend actually, um, I've had a lot of messages from people um, asking me certain questions, you know, saying to me, oh Mitch, why does this keep happening? Da -da 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 -da. You know, this part of my journey is just not changing, rah, 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 and all the rest of it. And even though through different people, um, you know, their stories are the same, the undercurrent message is actually the same, you know, so the, sorry, the stories are all different, but, you know, the message is the same. Um, and that is actually your own input, you know, we're all doorkeepers of our own destiny. And I say this so much in readings, I say it all the time, but it's so true. The mind is very much like a magnet. So what we think we bring into our everyday world. So if you imagine, and if you think with a situation that might be stressing you out, if you feel like it's shit and it's not going anywhere and you can't resolve it, if you're feeling it's doom and gloom, you're actually saying to the universe, I'm okay with this, I'm okay for things to be doom and gloom because you're talking about it so much you're feeding it a negative energy, if you can understand that. Whereas if we move our thought process um, to something positive, now that doesn't mean that we feel positive with it, but if we start having a positive attitude towards that situation, new energy can come in. And I'm not saying it's going to complete it and it's going to change it or stop it, but it can certainly help to shift the energy along, you know, the residual negative energy for something good and for something better. You know, whether it be relationship, um, house moving, whatever it is, you know, and you might find that it's a scenario that you just cannot control to a degree. But having said that, your own thought process and what you're choosing to fuel it can make all the difference. OK, so, you know, there's I've had people say to me, like, you know, they're owed money. That's an example. Relationship is another thing, you know. So with all of these scenarios, I want people to start looking, or if you feel like you're in this situation and you feel you're stuck in a catch-22, look critically at your world and look critically at yourself and think, well, actually, what energy am I fueling this in the first place? Am I fueling this a good energy or am I actually fueling this unintentionally a negative energy? And is it preying off the negative energy, you know? So I'm going to use an example with my personal world. A lot of you know the story with my little dog Oscar, which is ongoing, you know, and there are real good days and there are real bad days, you know, and there are times when I think, oh my God, I just can't cope anymore. And when I get those situations, I have to almost pull myself back out and say, hang on, Mitch, what mindset are you taking with this, you know, because quite often I've slipped into a negative myself where that whole scenario has overpowered me. But what I find is when I switch my um, thought process from being negative to being hopeful and positive again, stepping stones of change come in. And they might be very small steps, but they're still stepping stones. OK, so that's just an example for my personal journey. You've all got your own, I'm sure. Um, but I'm getting a lot of people messaging me, asking me. So this is the message I'm, I'm feeling very much from spirit that I've got to tell people. Um, I recently purchased a deck of a new deck of cards at the weekend. This is a lovely deck. I'll show you the box. Um, they're, they're new on the market. They're the Dark Goddess cards. I just had to have them. Um, this is the box for them here. And I thought I'd just quickly pick a card around this um, this message and this energy really to see if that gave me anything. And it's actually quite interesting because it's mirrored basically what I'm already feeling or I'm saying. So the card I picked or I got um, was, um, I can't I can't read that top bit, I'm a bit dyslexic and it's too early in the morning so I can't read that top bit, but the, the bottom bit, the main message is um, compliance. So I'll show you the card, okay, so it's compliance and the, the lovely thing with these cards, I'm going to have to read them from the book because I'm still getting to grips with the cards, they've all got a nice little mantra or a little spell or like a little incantation. So I'll read that first because that's quite interesting. And it says, boo hoo, it's not fair. It's their fault. They just don't care. Comply. Ditch this phenomena. Whining victim now be gone. By the power of dark goddess in me, protection in place, blessed be. 
So I thought that was quite interesting. And then I went on to read the card's kind of meaning. And it says, have you ever wondered why all the bad things happen to you and that you always seem to be the victim in most circumstances? Although your sad stories fuel the intention you wish to create, you are in fact denying yourself a happy and fulfilled life. Perspone acknowledges that you are struck that you are stuck in rather a difficult rut and offers to help you dig yourself out of this self inhibited precarity. Some of these words are too big for me. I do apologize if I'm saying these wrong. As a naturally helpful person, you have always willingly offered your help. Sadly, through the exploits of others, your kind compliance has reversed, and you have now become a victim of your own acquaintances. Okay. Um, having suffered emotion, emotion, emotional upheaval and inner trauma has left has led to self pity. Um, the card understands this completely, and it offers and even offers you protection. However, she warns you that sob stories not only invite negative energy, they can be a bore to endure. They also reaffirm all of the distress you wish to dissolve thus creating more of the same. Time to change your story. So basically, what the card's saying in a nutshell is if you think negative and if you think everything's doom and gloom and you're stuck as the victim, you're, you're almost saying to the universe, it's okay to be stuck as the victim, you know? So in a nutshell, it's saying change your mindset. Start, you know, bringing that positive energy in, even if you don't feel it to be. And don't forget the journey and the road that all of us are on changes daily and another example of this I was going to go to the post office yesterday at 10 o'clock I didn't end up getting to the post office till two o'clock now had I gone at 10 o'clock who knows who I may have met on my way as it was I went at two o'clock and I met those people that I met at that part in the post office that were there at that time so I changed my story you know and this can be with so many scenarios. And also, you know, when there's other people involved, how many times have you said to someone, oh, let's go for a coffee? And then for whatever reason, they've had to cancel despite you being ready, you know? So our stories can constantly change. And sometimes we can have input on that. Sometimes it's outside of our control, you know? So just know with whatever's going on in your world, it could be your input is the same also, but you're waiting on other people. So you can't change that, you know, so you just have to be the best version of you in those moments. Um, so I hope that makes sense. I'm really sorry about like my, my grammar and my spelling this morning and like pronunciation of words. Um, also, if you feel my eyes are quite puffy, I'm having a real bad time with hay fever at the moment. And even though I'm saying to the universe, you know, send that away with love and light. Unfortunately, the pollen count, I cannot change. It is high. Um, but I'm dosed up on uh, hay fever tablets, so that is hopefully helping. But yeah, so that's my message, guys. Um, so keep life fun, even in the most serious and the most dark of times. Keep the light coming in, you know. Um, and another thing that was said to me the other day, which is quite interesting at a fair at the weekend, um, someone said, am I a good witch or am I a bad witch? For me, you need light and dark, you know, so one can't exist without the other. So I always say to people, you know, I'm both really it's it's more in the heart of the witch and I choose to use my magic in a good way you know I would never go out to seek harm for somebody but in equal measure if I need to protect myself you know I will protect myself so you know energy is energy isn't it but it's what we choose to do and what we use with our own power really that's more important so I hope this visit this video resonates with some of you um, you know, we are door keepers of our own destiny. Just go out there and enjoy your world as best as you can. And if you don't like what you see, you have the power to change it. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all soon.